Hi, I'm Oliver, age 24. And I'm Malford. And we're here at Bossa Studios. We make games. Yes. Yes, we do. I like games. What a magical coincidence. Yes, it is. We're here today to talk to you about the Ashen slash Bossa Studios game jam. But what is a game jam? For a game jam, we split into teams and we make a game in a limited time. Ah, and what is an Ashens? Ashens is a popular YouTuber. Oh, like PewDiePie. Yes, but not as popular. Ah, so like a poor man's PewDiePie. Correct. There were many games made for this game jam. Does four count as many? Yes. Ah, how do you make a game, Malford? Well, what I normally do is write things down and get people who know what they're doing to do it for me. That sounds great. It is great. Let's talk about the ideas jam. Ah yes, that's when we decided what games we were going to make. That sounds easy. It's definitely the easy part. Wait, didn't your team have an argument about three different game ideas? Yes, it may or may not have come to blows. That doesn't sound too easy. Well, it's easy for me because I'm bigger than them. <laughs> <laughs> Bullying. So let's talk about the games. I like games. We've already covered that, Malford. Oh, hello. Luke. Hello. Oliver oh. and Malford. Hi, Luke. Or a race before. That's, That's the one. Yeah, we have to call him that all the time. Yeah. He gets annoyed otherwise. Would you like to tell us about the game I'd you made? I'd love to talk to you about the game we made. It's Do it. called Super Smash Go. Ooh. Ooh like and... Super Smash Bros? No, I oh, I've never. You know yeah. what? That must be because we play it every lunchtime. It must be. And. It must have just influenced the name. Subconsciously. Yeah, like really subconsciously. Yeah. It involves rockets and lasers, mm -hmm. and you have to blow up fake consoles. Ah. And then it goes into slow motion, and while they're in the air, you use the laser to zap them to score targets around the room. That sounds exciting. And you build up your score and you destroy all of the. Uh, and you can combo them as well if you fire a game child into a crate of other game childs, they also explode wow. in slow motion. Just like real life? Just like real just life. Just like real life. Great. Yeah, and it's got a dubstep soundtrack as well. Of course. And everything pulses to the nice to the sound of the music. This is relevant to the majority of my interests. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if you wanted to know about the game, so that's pretty much all of it covered. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thanks. I hope you can't wait to play it. I certainly something. can't. Me neither. Yeah. Sweet. Can I go now? Yeah. 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 Is that all? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hi, Hi Ian. Ian. Uh, would you like to talk about the game you made for the game, Jam? Sure. What's it called? It's called The Greatest Game Never Played. Ah, that sounds exciting. What does it mean? It means that it's just really hard to play because right. it's all in Japanese uh, and some Chinese. Do you speak Japanese? No. Or Chinese? No. It's Japanese translation is love. Deep. It was deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. <laughs> well, Ian, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Absolute pleasure. And you too. My favourite part was when you said the thing that we're not going to be able to include in the video and we had to cut there. You can go back to work if you like. Yay! Hey. Cheers, guys. Malford! Oliver! Didn't you make a game for the game jam? I sure did! What was that? It is a game about running a factory which produces the most genuine products, more genuine than the originals that they're based on. Wow, what's it called? It is called Knockoff Simulator. But it's about genuine products. The most genuine. Why is it called Knockoff Simulator? Because they may or may not be slight deviations from original designs. Ah. We kept talking about things that we probably shouldn't talk about mm. in this video. Mm. So most of that footage is not going to be there. No, that's not. Alright. Bye, Bye, Andy. Bye, Andy. Take us through the process of coming up with that idea. Well, for that idea, what I did as lead designer on the project is I took an idea from Andy mm. and then uh, we made that. Ah! Yeah. So you took credit for somebody else's work. And that is the process of making a game. <laughs> Oliver. Malford. Tell me about the game that you made. 
Well, you know how there are a lot of dirty YouTubers? There bloody are. Wow, yes. Mm. Well, now you can clean them. All of them? All of a few of them. Wow. And then... Yes. When they're clean... Yes. You can dress them. That is incredible. Mm. I wish I could clean and clothe many YouTubers. Well, now you can. That's great. Great. Tell us about which YouTubers you can scrub in your game. PewDiePie? Of course. The dirtiest. Uh, Ashens? <laughs> He's quite dirty. There are many more. Many more that you can't remember mm. right now. He's in it. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. Have you ever wanted to wash this guy? I know I have. What? I think that's everything. Ah. Uh, but we need to give a shout out to PewDiePie. I think you mean Ashens. Do I? YouTubers all look the same to me. That's racist. Yes, it is. Help me lift up this video of Ashens. Why is it so heavy? Oh, that's how you know it's good. Oh. Malford. Jack Howard. Racist. <laughs> Uh, should we tell people where they can play the games? We should tell people where they can play the games. Maybe we should leave it in the description. I think that's for the best. But nobody reads the description. They should read the description. How can we force them to read the description? We've put uh, a naked picture in there. Of... Jack Howard. <laughs> Jack Howard. <laughs> See if you can find it. Mm, he's handsome. Very handsome and naked. I think we should end this video now. It's probably a good time. Mm -hmm. How? Well, I don't have any musical instruments with me, so I'm going to use my face. 